Well, hi guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry. So today I get to bring you along for a delicious, absolutely outstanding pizza. I'm gonna do mine on the big green egg, but you could certainly do it in any cooking vessel that you have, whether it be your own oven or your barbecue. Either way, I'm going to show you how I do it on the grill. So I've got uh, shrimp and I've got 21 to 25 count or 20 to 25 count and some three large cloves of garlic that I've finely minced up. I've got a link of linguisa. This sausage is so good. It's not hot, but it's got just a perfect amount of seasoning spice that just makes this happen. And some really finely um, sliced red onion. I've also got a tomato out of my garden that I'm gonna slice up on one of the pizzas. I love tomato on pizza. And so I decided on this, I would make the sauce out of a very simple ingredients. I don't wanna disguise the flavor of the shrimp or the linguisa. So, I'm going to use a very simple olive oil and butter and the garlic and then I'm seasoning my shrimp with Old Bay and this is a garlic and herb seasoning and it, it is delicious and we'll use that, we're going to cook our shrimp in that and then we're going to use that oil on the base of our pizza dough. So I'm going to cut these, uh, this linguisa up in diagonal coins about yeah eighth of an inch thick. It's already cooked so you don't have to worry about that. The only thing that we have to worry about is cooking the shrimp to just shy of being done. I don't want them done done when I put them on the pizza because they're going to continue to cook and we want them succulent not rubbery. So let me show you how I do this shrimp because it's so fantastic. So I've got my cast iron skillet on my induction cooktop and so if you hear a fan that's what it is and I apologize for that. We're going to go ahead and uh, go with two tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of really good olive oil and get our shrimp down in the pan. And these are going to be fantastic. And they go really fast. And like I said, I don't want them uh, overpowering with cooking them all the way through. We're going to just shy of being all the way done. And then healthy amount of this Old Bay seasoning, maybe a teaspoon and a half, because again, that's going to be our sauce as well. So we're already starting to turn pink. And I'm going to also put in some freshly ground black pepper. And now my garlic goes down because it won't burn with the shrimp in there helping it along, but I want to soften that garlic so it's not a bitter raw garlic flavor. And just pizza. before this is finished, I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle on about a half a teaspoon, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon of red pepper flakes to give a little background. Okay, our shrimp are done and I'm going to take these off the heat. I've got my grill fired up. It's getting hot and I cook my pizzas right about 400 degrees if I can. I don't like it much higher than that just because I can't control the heat on the top as well. Um, so we'll meet you out on the grill. And there I'll really you know is the no fantastic way to do it other than do it. <laughs> Do it and stretch it out as soon as far it's as you got want. some char and it's really firmed up and I can flip it. We're gonna flip it and top it. Okay, I think flip our pizza top. dough is ready to flip. I've got my when you can get your spatula under it like that, go for it. We don't want it too awfully brown on that side because we've got to load this with toppings and continue to cook it. So right here I have my garlic and butter and olive oil that I cooked my shrimp in and okay oh. so after that we're gonna go ahead and I'm putting cheese on next so I've got some mozzarella cheese here that's already pre grated I usually grade my own but tonight uh, I'm going on the easy which I know a lot of you appreciate when you worked all day it's time to get it done. And I've got some, you know, leftover wood chips on here from other cooks. So I've got my 
beautiful sausage and this linguisa sausage is fantastic on pizza. If you've never had this, try it. It's delicious. So we want to put enough on there that everybody gets a piece or two. We've got some shrimp and my fire is kicking up. So on each pizza, we're probably going to have a half a pound of shrimp or so. Again, we want to make sure that it looks like every piece of pizza will get a piece of shrimp, some beautiful red onion. Break up those pieces. And then I cut up a, a tomato. I'm going to put a couple tomato slices because I really enjoy tomatoes done on a pizza. So we're just going to put a, a couple of pieces there. Maybe, yeah, there you go. And shut that lid back down and there you go. So here's our beautiful pizza. It is absolutely amazing. And I made two of these this size. So it's plenty for lunches and um, we're really excited. The grill, I ran the grill at about 350 degrees I, to 400. I don't like it overly hot because it ends up cooking too fast, but I'm gonna show you the bottom crust is perfect. Um, and then I'm gonna take a bite because I can't, I can't stand it. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh man. Unbelievable. The seasoning is absolutely spot on. I hope you guys try this. The, between the uh, Old Bay and the shrimp and the linguisa, you couldn't ask for a better piece of pizza. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh. Unbelievable. <laughs> so as always, I hope if you like this and you want a pizza just like this, I hope you give me a thumbs up. Come back next time, subscribe to my channel so you get notified. And I can't wait to see you next time. All right, guys. Bye.